Pambulan Una, good evening. I'm glad you for day after day again. Let will continue this family engagement. Um, let will talk to the minister. I want to apologize for the slightly late start. Uh, too many things were begging for attention. So I'm sorry for coming a little late. A little, uh, actually, two or three minutes late. But that was not the spirit. We want to keep this commitment to Una, 8 o'clock, now 8 o'clock. So today, I want for update now but a few things there but i want particularly zero in on the ministry of information and communications when the ministry will be the lead amongst other things there so thing that not happen in the last couple of days there. um so i want to start with um the august 10 update august 10 family we all aware i say we've been get big problem in the saloon um thanks to the security forces they may be able to restore law and order. So after that, uh, Bokuti did not happen. They may catch like 24 Pekine during a riot where they bring from other parts of the country, probably for use as human shield. Um, government done yesterday, yesterday reunite them people then they with their family there. You know, because after they obtain initial statements then from them. Um, they also government also make sure say they mobilize this child NGO community, then provide much needed care and support, including psychosocial care. So yesterday, a uh, please for not say they not reunite they all with their family. Um, on the people then with them they arrest, um, the the security forces there, then they do a very diligent investigation to ensure say the one they will not will not get. Too much issues then for answer, then release them as soon as possible. The one that will get cases then for answer, let them go through due process. Let them charge them to court and let them get their day in a court. This is not a democracy. Everybody is presumed innocent until proven guilty by a competent law, court of the law. Uh, on the other side, for barrier rights for the civilians, then we we'll be, we'll be, we'll, we'll lost, unfortunately lost their lives there. His Excellency don't make and clear say, I mean, this is a very regretful moment for we as a country. Because every Sierra Union life valuable, every Sierra Union life very significant. So we government don't commit for ensure say they all get decent barrier rights. Uh, in the meantime, in the last couple of weeks, then eh, in the last one or two weeks, um, we don't put public statements eh, out to family members. Then eh, we lost loved ones then eh, during August 10, or kindly come forward um, to the Ministry of Internal Affairs. For can identify their loved ones, then we lost their lives then during this this crisis. So um, to date, we don't get about eleven families then eh? don't can um, identify their loved ones there. Eh? So the next logical step, as per law, now for make sure say let them do autopsy. After autopsy, one for see out all their family members and they will agree a burial program, a dignified burial program for all them people and they. because His Excellency say. The people they all lost their lives then as our unions then, then said deserve decent barrier. So to so them families then they we want for assure them say anybody will show up, will not arrest anybody because he show up uh, as a result of the loss of a dear one. You know, so we don't keep that commitment already to the people then with them picking them me deep at the violence. We don't hand all man over to them families then. So like I say, today I want to talk to Una about the Ministry of Information and Communications, we are on the lead since uh, May 2018. Um, my ministry, in key mandate, what did they set up that ministry for do? That ministry, in current mandate, now for make sure, say, we we'll bridge the communications gap between government and citizens, eh? and at the same time, bring citizens and feedback to government. So on their feedback, and they, government, the user, for for inform government policy, for change policy direction, or for enrich policy. So it's very important you not know, to one-way communications with the area for more people, with the informal people that are in government, they do at any one point in time. And after that, we say they are as well take back with the citizens and feel like, for example, during the period and day where the global petroleum crisis be hit up. Yeah, we we'll go across the country with we'll consult. We inform people then the reasons why that may happen. And after that, the people then say they give we their own comments, then their own concerns. 
will bring this back to government and a lot of government policies there don't influence as a result of that. That's not one leg of the job we the ministry is supposed to do. They do. The other bit has to do with uh, the technology business. Uh, my ministry now get the responsibility, the statutory responsibility for make sure so protect government and ownership interest in all ICT related and telecommunications um, facilities there. For example, my ministry, even though not to get direct responsibility on a day-to-day -day basis, they provide ministerial oversight of Seratel within the process of privatization. My ministry also, they look at um, the running of um, former Salcap, now Zood Labs, it has been privatized. Uh, my ministry, they regulate the ICT space. So that means the tele telecommunications uh, company there, the mobile phone company there, and all in one and they, you know, for make sure, say, A, uh, they're not unduly exploit the people there, B, for make sure, say, we protect government ownership rights there, and C, for continue for create an enabling environment, let people there able for, let them businesses and able to continue for operate in, on, in, on one hand, and let we make sure, say, we people then get a fair deal. So now the, now the key roles and now the ministry, they perform. So the next question will be, how far we don't do over the period? How well we don't do? Wait till, wait till we don't do since we come over. So we take, I take over a ministry, um, we've been get serious challenges. For example, um, in 2007, 2017, for example, um, when you look at the amount of people there, we've been there online, online platforms there, you've been get about 400,000 people. Now they mean on now they mean they now various social media platforms in 2017. Today, four years down the line, we'll get about 1.3 million people. Now then they on various social media platforms. I they talk about Instagram, I they talk about Facebook, I they talk about Messenger, I they talk about Twitter. You know, now the average you number know, one day of Sarah Unions and we did it. Yeah. So what's it now on the main for we? So we they talk about a quantum jump from 400,000 to 1.3 billion around that. So how will we get to that point? And what's in the implications? Number one, you know, you find out, say, this not so by accident. Now, as a result of very deliberate policy measures, then, we government take, now you make more people than trust um, digital space, now you make more people than trust the internet now for related. In 2019, for example, we will come in, we enact the Electronic Transactions Act, which means then transactions and the way they do online is recognized now as valuable transactions. Then. Because if not to be now and day, uh, you're not going to do procurement online, but in the way you're not going to do online. So as a government, we realize, say, this is a digital era. We we'll get for move with the rest of the world. The reason we make the dinosaur not exist now, now because they're not be able to adapt to changes. They're not be able to move uh, with, the, with the changing circumstances and times. So anybody not, the, not see dinosaur, pass with your butter, we read butter. You know, so that not the, not the important thing. So this government can enact enabling policies, like I talked about the electronic transactions law in 2019, yeah, for make sure select people then able to do electronic transactions there and they consider it as legitimate transactions there. So, you know, we go say, I pay online, you know, accept her, or I, I do this, that, that, that. So, this is recognized transaction as a law. After the electronic transactions law, we also make sure so enact several other laws then. Farm would then go members say, um, we salon may land the fiber cable now during the previous administration. Now, been World Bank grant, World Bank support, World Bank loan. That loan day, um, it been get condition precedence then. You know, it been get conditions then. One of the key conditions and what loan they've been get now been for law make sure say private sector play a role there. The number one let it become a wholly owned government uh, government outfit. So the key one of the key conditions was that the private sector for day part of her. Number two, they may make her a precondition say we also for for legislate um, on cyber security because we see where you see you land a fiber cable day. It, 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 it increased digi digital optic, the optic, optic, optic of digital services. More people than they can online, more people than they transact online. 
So you need forget a law, a cybersecurity law, where they able to protect them, 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 them people that they in cyberspace. You know, like I mentioned to Ona, from 2017, we've been getting 400,000 users. Today, we'll get 1.3 million users. So it grow. And this is set to continue to grow all the time. So we've been getting the obligation for enact a cybersecurity law and a data protection law as part of the preconditions for this loan. You know, but they'll be very flexible with we um we be near areas of that one day. Yeah, so where we come in in 2018, we we'll look at all this landscape. We see say, every investment in the sector, the World Bank will not stop up because we will not be able to do as a country before 2018, we will not be able to meet them condition precedence there. So, and again, then conditions here, so a very link with international obligations. There. Around 2014, all African heads of states there been signed up to what they call the Malabo Accord. The Malabo Accord, they talk about cyber security and data protection. Um, around 2016, they been passed the ECOWAS directives there. Again, in say, they talk about cyber security and data protection. Salon, nobody not able to implement any of them in there. So I, can, I had my job cut out for me as Minister of Information and Communications. I've been there for do all the law there. So now that make we enact the cyber security and crime law 2021. Now that make we enact, um, we enact the, what was it? Now that make we, 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 we talk about the digital, the, the digital protection and privacy law with the cabinet right now for enactment. Um, all in law there, Nana they make we don't do that. Because A, that been condition precedence for the World Bank loan, number one. Number two, salon day in violation of the international instruments there will be not accede to at the international level. So we need to domesticate them and, and reflect them in law then. So this other, you know, we don't make sure so we don't do that. What is not the significance of this? You know, um, now many countries around the world Cyber security don't become a very important thing. Last year, once until now, a couple of years ago, you know, sometime last year, uh, uh, I came by a video documentary where the former anti corruption commissioner in Nigeria, the guy, the brand name, Nuri Badu. Nuri Badu say a prosecute one case where a group of Nigerians, I mean, Sidon, in Nigeria, they rob a bank in Brazil, $250 million. That bank they collapse, the bank manager die. If they're not being get a law, cyber security and crime law, for example, they're not for able to try that. They try them people then they, yeah, and they're able to recover their resources then they. The other one, uh, we all know about Hush Poppy. I mean, he sat comfortably in Dubai, um, he literally fleeced the whole world. He got a lot of money, yeah. So, cyber security law, you need for get up. Because part of the key provisions in that law, the international cooperation, it able to work with other countries there for for able to get suspected criminals there, either then try them outside and they or not extradite them for trial. Because it's very important. Because cyber cyber crimes there for the most part are committed by people there who are not dealing at the country outside and commit the crime. Then they use the digital system, the internet, the computer systems for perpetrating crime in it. So it's very, very important. Say country getting kind lawyer, right? I will talk about all make many other advantages. You get you get in there for deal with online child pornography, you know, about um, identity theft, boku 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 issues and they are under. But that's that's a conversation we can probably QA, we can we can talk about that. Okay, um, I see people that don't begin. People that don't, people that don't begin, they don't begin, um, they don't begin engage with the conversation. So I want for 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 continue. I'll come back to them one and day. So don't enact their legislation there. Yeah. Like I say, um, the data protection and privacy bill, they in a cabinet now for debate and eventual enactment by parliament. We have been care the cyber security and crime law go parliament. Uh, parliamentarians and members of the public have been very concerned. Say we need for care the cyber security, um, the, the data protection bill go. I've been given that commitment, say that was work in progress. Um, I also want to report, say this is where it is now. Um, in coming weeks and in a couple of months' time, Salon will get that one day. 
But I want to say, even in the absence of that, you know, the space a lot safer now than previously. What do you make us say so? Previously, if the police been to investigate you, for example, any member of the public, all within the need for do, not been for right to um, the, the mobile network operator, for example, they say we want uh, access to Mohamed Rahman Suare in call data records or any, any document we want to hold for them. They may oblige for give because we will not be get law with the protect citizens and privacy. Today, with the enactment of the Cyber Security and Crime Act, if a police they investigate, the security forces they investigate you. If posting way then they do under the law, then therefore make an application to a high court judge, giving reasons why then things say you get issues for answer. The judge therefore be convinced before a grant the 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 the, the permission day, and by the permission the laws the same law, in the cause of that conduct day. You suppose for keep by the strict rules within the law. If you go out of the law, you set up punishment in at the law for you. If you become an overzealous policeman, you become reckless. You you take the law into your hands. The cyber security and crime law get clear prescriptions how for discipline you. So I think saying that something this oh for able embrace, oh for able embrace up, a very very important. The other bit after that one day, I want for also tell Fabul and say. We don't cap in. We don't, in, we don't reduce the cost of uh, communications. We don't reduce the cost of communications. I can tell you how and how. Number one, when President Bill came in in 2018, the first official visit we do to the People's Republic of China, one of the first things that we've been doing was a ask in Chinese counterpart President Xi Jinping for support up. Let it, let it improve in telecommunications landscape in our country. Through hard ball, hard lobbying, consummate negotiation, it been able to get a $30 million loan um, at a 1% concessionary interest rate for let we able to take fiber to the remaining parts of the country. As a result of that, um, we don't able to deliver fiber in Koinadugu district. We don't ever get fiber landed there. We don't land fiber Na, na Moyamba district, we don't able land fiber na Pujon district, we don't land fiber na Moyamba na Kailan district, we don't land fiber na Bond district. They one they are not be ever covered under the previous World Bank arrangement, and we not land fiber for fiber sake no more. Na almost na all the district headquarter towns would connect them council there, so that we bring them into the loop for do e, e governance. We de bring them the. Um, now the district councils then, eh, we also the, the city the city councils then, eh, we they make sure say we connect them safe, because this is a digital era. You not go continue for transact business the way Adam and Eve been they do. I mean that means you are not fit for purpose in the twenty first century. Twice would they adapt? Would they connect the hospitals there, eh, the primary hospitals there, eh, now then district headquarters towns there, eh, and would they connect? Um, would they connect uh, some schools there, eh, select schools there? Eh. Yeah, um, this is not just under Mayum, under the Ministry of Information on your project. There is also an opportunity under this, under a previous project for connect 500 schools there, under the Ministry of Information and Communications. Of course, in subsequent um, um, engagements, I will bring the Minister for Basic and Senior Secondary Education. I will tell when I say under the GIGA project, uh, provision there for connect thousands of schools there to the internet. His Excellency. Don't see, say, um, they don't commit, say, a one for left behind a digitally connected Sierra Leone. A Sierra Leone would reduce inequalities. Me, for example, as well, I can always say, na village school ago, you know. So, them can only go na village school, they're not for be disadvantaged. Then, counterparts, then they're not schools, they're not free town, then get access to the best teachers. But ICT and digital experience, then say they able benefit from the same thing, eh, the same opportunities. With all the people that they benefit from. So, now that one day, now the kind thing we want for do. So, the ICT with the unleash. Somebody go ask, what do you want to do, but then place that they will not get connectivity? We are coming as Minister of Information and Communications because I come on a village, I realize, say, it's not very profitable to people there. The, the, 
the telecommunications company that are not profitable today for for in for go do all our investment in a village will not get better subscriber base. So most of them are not get interested. What did I do? We set up what we call a universal access development fund. That fund they uh, all mobile network operators there, not in the contributor, now 0.75% of them gross earnings there, not in the contribute to the Universal Access Development Fund. That one day, now they use for take ICT to unserved and underserved communities. There. I think this one very important. Majority of people then they live um, outside the ICT uh, connectivity grid as government now your responsibility for financial inclusion, for education, for every kind of thing, for make sure they will bring them to the grid. Now, then they make will set up that fund. Uh, and already, then they do a lot of work. We are set to do more. So, why is why is why are that? I want for instance, I engage with some of the some of the some of the last see the message there. I want for engage with some of the thing then. The message there. So somebody they say. Um, the, the data protection law don't they in, in, in process for a long time. Yes, Sheku, Sheku Suare, uh, I understand that concern day, a very important. When a member who have been enact the, the cyber security and crime law, um, people then been get a lot of concerns, they will not do wild consultations then. then so there's always need for consult a lot of people then. When they do their engagements, then they would don't, don't spend a lot of time for do that. And laws then, for make sure, say, let them stand the test of times. Yeah? And it is not a Sierra Union law. This is, um, this is a law that we get for be in sync with not only Africa. Africa, Africa, so London sign up to the African free trade, um, free, Africa uh, free trade continental area. So what do you mean? Salon will be part of a community who will get like 2.1.3 billion people there. That market, they will be part of her. So we need for getting law there in place. There will be a lot of data out there. So we need for protect two people there. Um, so somebody, they talk about the current um, cyber crime law and you know, all the target um, government people there. Lamin, I tell you, we, um, then they do the law. You know, per cyber security issue, you know, they lie per person. Because if, anytime you engage in cyberspace, you they left digital footprints there. So the URL go there, your footprints then go there, nine then go use and care go. You have to be, not to tell you the lie part, you know, but the thing about her, not to like murder, you know, not to like murder, you can't see the gun lay down, blood there, and a very volatile thing. So that, that makes from all passes law, you find out so we don't begin to train judges there, we don't begin to train prosecutors there, the equipment are being procured, just for make sure that this is not for me. The president, they always tell me, say, let us make laws, Mr. Minister, we will protect you even while we're not there in office. And that's what we're doing. We're not witch hunting, we will make sure, say, Will do what is best for our, for our people. Yeah, somebody they say we'll extend them to radio stations. Uh, well, they engage radio stations, uh, but in future probably would we'll connect to they do now so to radio stations, and that's a brilliant proposal. That's very well noted. Yes. Um, I did see a lot of commendations there. I uh, 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 appreciate that. I appreciate the compliments there. I also appreciate the critical comments there. Um, well, today we're not to talk about exchange rates, really. I don't want to get distracted for that one day. We want to talk, for, we want to talk about the key issues there. Um, okay. Do your best. Um, okay, somebody don't note this, and this is fact. See, I don't reach out more than any other um, information minister in the history of a country, but that will not go to my head. I'll continue for make sure say, I do more. The generation who they live in, the times who they live in, you know, people then they ask for more. Then they ask for more. Somebody they ask say we need for sanitized cyberspace. I agree. Well, we know the we know the sale of sanitize not to go down well with many people. Um, what do we want for do? We want for build a trusted cyberspace where anybody, any Sierra Leonean, anybody around the world will trust for for transact business now cyberspace. Will believe in you know um, relating on cyberspace. We're not gonna be bullied. We're not gonna be dotted by child pornography, will not be, will be dotted by identity theft and all that thing and So, not that kind of thing and they will do. Um, okay, so we don't talk about the law then, the reforms and what they make, the costs and what they don't reduce. Um, 
I also want to talk about um, the liberal tendencies and what this don't bring. Um, so one of the things that today we'll get about 230 um, newspapers registered in the country. About 230 newspapers registered in Sierra Leone. So, and some of them quite critical. All way to what they say, criticize us as best as possible. Just make sure, say, in the process, you also be constructive. I mean, now and then are important. This is the only country we all have. I mean, we want the very best for Salo. I'm sure, whether it's party A, B, or C, you know, we don't choose this part. Yeah? So, we they say, we don't register about 200, 230 registered newspapers. Then I have, and we can't to we can't to radio stations. Then we we'll get 211 operational radio stations. Literally every community gets a radio station. I have. every community gets a radio station. They operate, and we are proud of our record. Under His Excellency's administration, there is no journalist in jail on account of the practice of the profession. When it come in, we make sure say we decriminalize the 55 year old criminal lie by law. Women, they make journalists, they know they enjoy free speech. If you do unsafe, um, you they end up, forget knocking, I do not. You might end up being visited by a plainclothes policeman or something. You will spend the weekend in a jail. I'm very proud to say, under this administration, we have not done that. In fact, we don't pull that law. That law, a lot of pull up. But who, but who people then been critical of her? But who people then been afraid? Members of the public still do not repeal. Even in the cabinet, people then they will, be get, will be get concerns there. His Excellency would have been the most battered presidential candidate in the run-up to the 2018 elections. His Excellency was castigated, he was vilified. You know, they even threw the kitchen sink at him. But His Excellency said, look, you know what? Sierra Leone is the only country we have. We have to make sure that it works. You know, so a repeal against all, all odds. So this is not the kind of thing we talk about. Again, after the repeal, because we repeal in the International Development Partnership Community, all man no say we're serious about the repeal. Um, Salon Salon currently now the 46th most liberal in terms of press freedom in the whole world out of 180 countries. As a country, we should be very, very proud of it. Hmm? We should be very proud of it. Um, what are some of the crimes that were punishable under the cybersecurity and crime law? What's in the like identity theft? You can't misrepresent, say you know, Minister Suare, yeah. You hijack my Facebook account or my account. They ask people their money. I don't count on no. I don't stranded. You know, then take me back. All my thing there. You do that misrepresentation. Then it's a cyber offense. You sit on there. In the parade, small picking. A nude picture there. All over cyber space. You know, government, they take um, the intervene part of one Because picking, they're not able to fight for themselves. They're not rich age of consent. You know, consent, very important. way they deal with um, pornographic pictures there. In the cyber space. So, a lack of the person, now you're posing, right? You put a picture out without a consent. If you bring her, the law will deal with that matter day, and the judges, they're very well trained for that one day now. We don't train prosecutors there at home and abroad, and then get all the support what they need. The law is strong enough. This law, not a Sierra Leonean law, law will be very, very clear on this. This law will benchmark her um, for the African Union, Malabu Convention, for benchmarker alongside the ECOWAS directive and the Budapest Convention. Let nobody not say we don't put anything extraneous inside this law. That is not true. You know, and that make we we'll get the support of the international community or the developer. So that is very important to note. Um, I, I see my brother, um, Mr. Jar, the watch from Kentucky. There is a boy man, the watch from London. I see Boku people, then the watch from various other people there. But it's very important to say, this conversation for continued farm them. Yeah. Um, the key strategies uh, for identity theft. Well, one one of the one hold on to really this law. Now one the law. The, we got a cyber security strategy. We're ready for cabinet right now. I'm sure at the next cabinet at the Crown Go. Uh, but one of them um, we're going to do a lot of public education. Uh, public education important because a vast majority of people there where they use cyber space. They're not understanding there. Then just the user, then just the uh, then just the forward, then just the talk anything, they never know an offense. You know, so government get the responsibility for make sure say we'll do public education. In coming days and weeks, we will continue for deep in now and day. We we'll currently they do jingles then, the National Cyber Security um, um, Council, they do jingles there in various local languages. 
then go for engage. Tomorrow morning, say, I understand, say, then go for the on SLBC. We are engaging for make sure, say, then people then they, all man, no go plead ignorance of the law. Because this is not the 21st century. Once we want for day in a cyberspace, we want for day in digital space, we not go take the benefits, we left the disadvantages. They got huge challenges. You know, like I talk about their money laundering, organized crime, identity theft, you know, pornography, cyber bullying, cyber stalking, all the issues that they, this law they deal with. So the call on salon people there, law saying as for law, with empower we, where they make sure say cyberspace safe and secure, just like a normal everyday life. Yeah, let's see more comments. Hmm. Well, so somebody they asked how the diaspora people then uh, it go affect them. Um, and, you know, it is online. It is not the MIC website. Um, if you look out, you go find out, say, um, excuse me, you go find out, say, um, now this lawyer, the final chapter, they talk about international cooperation. Like I mentioned earlier, all this law, uh, the law take note of the fact, say, most of the people that already commit cyber offenses, now people that were resident in other jurisdictions there. So in the last couple of weeks or months, we don't see somebody sit down in Holland, they say, um, previously, they say, let them burn, let them, let them burn Padenba Road prison, let them burn Tumbu, let them burn, let them, you know, they call people there on August 10th, for example, then people then they sit down, they say, let them, let them take over state house, let them, let them take over parliament, let them burn people there at the motorcar there, yeah, and take over the government, end the, the life of the government. This is a democracy. You know, at the moment, no vacancy in all the state house. And the president will have to give this to him. Before now, people them in the, them in the big leaders there for let them announce election date. President Bill has been gracious enough because they believe the core values of democracy, they don't announce election dates over one year in advance. So anybody who wants to do politics, who wants to take over from her, they don't challenge you, you can now start planning for doing legitimately. In the meantime, there is no vacancy. So then people then they always sit down at the comfort and convenience of other jurisdictions. Eh? Where they do this, I have bad news for them. The law will catch up with them someday, no matter how long it takes. That is a commitment this government gets, and I'm not going to comment more than that. I mean, we want to be criticized as much as you can, constructively, but nobody, we were grown up enough, we see what we'll go through during the 11 years of civil war. Some dignified Sierra Leoneans and dying refugee camps will get a whole generation of young people there who miss out on, uh, on childhood, they never go to school, they never go learn livelihood skills. Uh, so we don't want to let anybody return with them these days. Uh, so we don't want to let anybody call for war. Let, we'll get other ways then for express disagreement. And government on impact, we have committed. We'll continue for open the democratic space. The media is free. We don't abolish the death penalty. Right now, as we talk, uh, there is a bill in Parliament for women and 30% representation in all elective positions. So all of this now liberal policies there, now very open and democratic policies there. Oh, you talk about Adibayo. Well, I, I don't just make a generic statement. Anybody will stay in at the comfort and convenience of other jurisdictions there, right? And threaten the peace and stability of this country. Government go use every means at in disposal for make sure, say, justice is done. Hmm. Okay, they talk about somebody they talk about lady then where they post the nude pictures there. How are not so okay? So this is the deal. Now, the cyber security and crime law, right? There is adequate provision for that. If somebody reports them, somebody involved, you report them. For example, say, look, may not be giving me consent and share my picture. That is punishable under the cyber crime law. If not picking them, we not reach age of consent, government can take her in. Because picking them, they not, they not reach age of consent once they're below 18. You do that to them, they state the cake, they state they take necessary actions. Right, so now they, now they something that so they still wait for complaint. If somebody complains, say they don't put her out, ain't not be the part of her, they not give consent. Then that's another matter. That's something the law they deal with. 
And I tell you, we don't train 24 judges there, some of the best cybersecurity experts there around the world that they do that training, both in person and online. You know, we don't train prosecutors there. I would continue for deep in that training, right? With the getting forensic equipment there, we don't get an office space. You get a very dedicated, non-partisan team where they deal with that one day. So the one that thinks that they will stay in the comfort and convenience of other things, I have bad news for them. Very bad news for them. Plain days are over. Okay, um, okay, somebody said that they use English to understandable. I understand. I mean, a village I grew up, I find them very difficult for speak, you know, that kind of creole, but I'll continue for try. Yeah, I'll take that, I'll take a note of that one day. Mm. Okay, somebody they asked how I will come, how I will ensure, say, uh, people they will not get smartphone. I really the cancel this. Well, now you don't, you don't bring at the cancel the other point. Um, where I take over as Minister of Information and Communications in 2018, the World Bank been on pool hand by the Ministry of Information and Communications business. Because uh, that loan with them in Guy, with them in land, take land, the fiber cable, uh, the previous government and the World Bank not been part well. Uh, they not end well. So the World Bank self, they may not just pull hand by that ministry around 2014 or so. So I come back with a dedicated team of People there in the MIC who begin to engage the World Bank. After over two years of engagement, a pleas for a non stone I say, the World Bank, they're very impressed with what they do, the policy reforms they all don't do, the personal commitments where I get as minister, what the government gets, uh, and the investment uh, where this government don't do, they don't come back now. The World Bank don't give Salon a $50 million grant for law to do various things there. One, now for improved internet connectivity across the country. Two, now for embark on digital skills. Like I mentioned, we get a whole generation of young people there who are um, not able for either complete school or not ever go to school. And this being a digital age, if we want to let them function effectively at this age, we'll get for give them digital skills. I also understand somebody don't ask. Then people that are in small villages, we not, we not get smartphones. How do they go benefit? Well, two things. Somebody don't say, Lord, try for see how I go link this up to, to, to the radios, the community radios there. The second thing where I go share under the World Bank project, where I just mentioned, uh, we'll get an experiment day, we'll get a project day for experiment on uh, subsidy for smartphones there for, for rural communities there. So then, say, we will get some kind of smartphone. The World Bank will work on that one day now then, so that they're able to subsidize uh, rural communities and let them get smartphones. And so then, say, we will go. Facebook, then we will go WhatsApp, then we will do that thing. And this project is kicking off this September. Not a Hollywood movie at the Teluna about, right? This is a uh, work in progress and it's here now. So I'm very pleased for talk that one day. So the community will benefit. The other set of people that will benefit from this um, now, now people living with disabilities. We want to give them assistive technology, if not the blind people there, all lens in there. So they say they're not going to be left out. Because His Excellency President Julius Madabio committed for ensure say we leave no one behind. So that one day, um, uh, what they do, and somebody they ask why it takes so long for let the Ministry of Information engage the public. That is not true. Um, with modesty and humility, I want to say, as Minister of Information, I don't engage the public more than all ministers before me. Uh, there is no place I have not put boots on the ground, and people tell me in the communities I've engaged more medium. All kind of media there, past any other minister before me. Like I tell you, it's a very challenging period. My last minister will be there, 400,000 people been there on social media. Today I'm dealing with 1.3 million people with different agenda. Um, so, yes, Peter Berkeley, I'd, I'd get to something. We will continue for make sure, say, we do the reforms there. This is for God and for country. And we don't get the unique privilege for do this. We'll continue to do it for our people. Um, so, yes, I want for I want for response to some of the some of the comments then. Um, Mr. Minister, how can information be accessed at the ministry? Well, there is a very active and robust and agile Facebook page. We'll get that one day. We'll go live on virtually every tool they do in the ministry. We we'll also they make sure say every Thursday we we'll get press conference. Some of them press conferences then we don't need decentralizer. Um, we don't need decentralizer. With the, with the host and a provincial headquarters towns there, and people that they listen to me, they know what I'm saying is true, right? 
So they do a lot of things then. Somebody they ask uh, Sierra Leone and we store the cyber security. So, so you can reach out on, on you can reach out by other or you can you can send a private mail. That's a conversation we can get because we just set up the cyber security team. Yeah. Uh, one for do ya at the encourage una una share una continue for share we want for engage you know we think say um the president be known commit say a go run a transparent and accountable government so do ya this is not part of pushing that presidential commitment further we want for make sure so engage with citizens there in real time in real life so that you know um, we will exchange views there freely honestly sincerely about how for move the only country will call will you go before, you know. Okay, so let me thank you, my friend. Thank you. Ask where have you seen civilians overthrow an elected government? Well, so um, where you see civilians then? One, then 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 they go to what what they call a protest with self-loading machine guns. Civilians then then they carry. Pistol, eh? then they carry all kind of sharp instruments. Eh? They kill policemen eh? in broad daylight. The man then die. They still continue for kill. Eh? Now, very, very horrendous scene. Eh? I don't want for encounter. Then civilians, then eh? they be done. They talk before that. See, they are taking over state house. They are taking over this. They were a front. We know they were a front. They mean they work in league with other people there. Eh? But it's good. His Excellency has set up. Um, uh, has set up. Um, they don't set up. Um, a broad-based investigative committee for probe the causes and uh, advise government. So there will be lessons learned. The police themselves they investigate for the purposes of prosecution. So let's wait and see that. But then uh, that's the response to your question. Okay, somebody say elect elected statement where I say there is no vacancy at state, but there is no vacancy. Presidents are elected for a five-year tenure. At the end of that tenure. Um, now that make then they do elections and the president has been kind enough. He don't he don't already announce election date over one year in advance. So anybody who want for try a hand, that's the moment you can you can you can try your hand, right? So that's what we say. Huh? No, 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 that's not what we're discussing today. Oh, somebody they asked me monthly salary. I want to talk about this. Um, so this minister, I mean, with modesty again and humility, this minister don't get an illustrious career before now. Um, where have been they? Um, may have been uh, head of human resources and public relations in the airport in executive leadership at some point. I may have been the youngest day. Um, this minister... Uh, I don't work for all mining companies in this country, spanning from African Minerals, London Mining. Um, I get an international assignment in Liberia. I may have been um, head of human resources and, and administration. We take over, my company been take over the free port of Monrovia in a 25-year privatization bid. So I was an expert. I was very well looked after. My rent alone, they the pay the apartment they rent for me, sir, that been $36,000 in the pay per year. I had international medical insurance. Yeah, I could travel the world over. Now, me, me, saw me he, he attended the best international school in Liberia. My family been there, I didn't get in, insurance. Yeah, I had a, I, I could smile all the way to the bank. His Excellency was gracious. He appointed me, not to mean that the most qualified person, not to mean that the most educated, not to me work for a hard pass all, but I was better paid as a private citizen than I get paid now. I get paid around 20 something million, Leon, sir. So I don't I don't break a bank because they pay me. This is now one of the least salaries I don't receive in a long time. But I appreciate His Excellency for letting a lot fall on you out of 7.3 million people for let you let, let the appointee for serve a very big thing. You know, anything we are talking about, anybody who wants for prover, I'm ready to, I'm ready for that game. Let's go. Oh yes. Um Somebody, the, the lady will post death threats there on Facebook. So let us see that. Somebody has to complain. Let us see that. You don't use social media for that. I mean, clear, clear provisions. And if you look at Article um, Section 51 under the Cybersecurity and Crime Law, that one they did it. 
So that's an offense. So you don't know me monthly salary now. So you had on call now. I don't, I, they know they. Okay, somebody say democracy is not in our country. Democracy is not about lawlessness. Democracy is not about hooliganism. It's not about breaking down of law and order. Democracy, now, government of the people, for the people and by the people. And one of the underpinning and core elements of a democracy, now, respect for the rule of law. Ways the enable people then they express, I don't mention to you, say, this president, a nine can repeal a 55 year old criminal libel law. All the other president, the non can, you know, they don't talk all kinds, and they don't do, 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 they don't even go to cabinet ever. Yeah? Now, if the president, in personal political will, now lead to that. They don't abolish the death penalty. No president not do that day before now. I don't tell you more radio stations than 230, uh, about 211 newspapers, and count, see counting. Then it's pride up in the air. No journalist not in a jail on behalf on, on account of the, the, the practice of the journalism. No uh, politician, no, no opposition or politician person not in a jail on account of their belief as opposition leaders. So if that is not democracy, you tell me what it is. It is in this same era that the president they try for, for um, empower women to a 30% quota representation. Then country they know they aspire for be the United States, the UK, all over the world. The underpinning, not discipline, did they, law and order, did they, not, not, not the foundation, not they, for a thriving democracy. You cannot be lawless, you cannot be violent, and you see the government, government gets a responsibility for preserve law and order. So that is why the president non commit will go investigate June 12th or will follow the evidence wherever at least so. So somebody that talk about laws they wouldn't implement. Um, so under my own watch, any law we implement, we are going to give effect to them. The cyber security and crime law, for example, my dear um, brother, um, we will do that one day. We don't follow up with training, Alfred, Africa. We don't follow up with training, right? This training we don't do one, we conclude about two or so months ago for 24 judges there. We'll get trainers that will arrive in the country. So then stay and do an online, be hybrid training at no cost or expense to government, right? After that one day, we also done the train prosecutors there. We they get we they get the equipment there again. Our partners and the support to supply with that one day. Government don't give uh, don't give a building for host that one day. So a lot of work in place. This is not to their law the way they make way they left on the shelf they gather dust. Yeah. Oh, somebody they ask something and suspend the license for the license for. For, for I, I think say they talk about um, Star TV. So a, a very important way you do this. You know, misinformation, the tribe or disinformation, who will not put out the facts. Um, so the media one proprietor, a very personal friend, um, a day in huge areas there. I mean, this is fact with NATCOP. Very huge areas spanning over 10 years. How do I know this? Then come to me in the office because I'm a friend. He raised this issue with me. I call not come leadership, the director, the director general, and somebody else. I said, when I call or talk about this in the in the proprietor, did they? We agree, say, look, what will they do now? Law will get a win-win thing. We will eventually lead to a payment plan. We're not going to pay without um, collapsing the business over a period. I've been left that one day today. I am pleased to note that I am informed that that conversation did go very well. This government not get no interest in shutting down any media outlet. Always we will say to every responsibility, there is a concurrent, uh, to every right, there is a concurrent responsibility. We will encourage the media to be as responsible as possible. And we will not, uh, not only repeal part five. We will not continue to forgive the Sierra Leone Association of Journalists their subvention. In the last two years, this government don't increase until 500 million per year. Because we understand there is media poverty, there is poverty in the media. This year, after the repeal, because part of the argument what the president may get was, we'll repeal the criminal libel law. Would we'll be able to get, um, would we'll able to attract private sector investment in the media. Would we'll be able to get women then for can practice, na, for can practice journalism. Women then go free to some side, for can they, hey, you write something, you mistake self, tomorrow they don't hold you. They don't understand it. So hold on, on Shaku, you will see some of the brightest women in the Canada, in the profession, 
And recently, in June this year, um, my ministry organized, with support from the BBC Media Action, organized what we we'll call an investment conference. That investment conference, no one day happened for the media in the 61 year history of this country, right? What did we achieve? We we'll identified the challenges in the media, we we'll get international people then coming. And this year at the World Press Freedom Conference, now Uruguay, Sara Leone and I be the poster child of media freedom. And the thing that we don't do through a multi-stakeholder process for make sure so we're able to raise money for the media. And right now, Salon Day in pole position for attract a lot of resources for the media through the International Fund for Public Interest Media and through the National Endowment Foundation. Right? All this now because government care. Nobody has any interest to buy any journalists. Mr. Kamara, look, now we left politics out of this. President Bill, even as we talk, some of the most critical papers in the Komoa against, against President Bill, not a day they come. Yeah? Uh, not a day passes by where they're not, a, where they're not a able to take. So, somebody don't come, confirm, say, indeed, Media One don't propose a payment plan. And once they come, furnish a commission with, the, with, with that payment plan, they, then they make sure, say, they return to business. I mean, not there in nobody's interest. I media mean, one, they create jobs for people there. You know, they also don't, don't do, uh, they make a own contribution to national development. So, in order that nobody's interest for let media one go out of circulation. Now, my desire, now, my hope and prayer for see their return to business yesterday. Tomorrow might be late. So, I see they encourage you now. Let us share. Let us continue to share. Let us continue to engage with decorum, with civility. Because another kind of thing I go make, when I go ask, when I talk right questions there, and Mr. go respond to them. I think so that one is very, very important. Yeah. So, um, I want for I want for assure um, viewers then and listeners then say um, this government will remain committed, will go remain, will go remain focused, will not go be distracted. The president very clear and ambitious. They say Africa missed out on three industrial revolutions. And no one less salon particularly miss out on the fourth industrial revolution. So now I want to make under his watch, we will come, we don't reduce the cost of both data and voice. We don't reduce the cost of both data and voice. It just happens, say, we don't say it, we don't take it for granted. And as soon as we get opportunity, we will continue or do more and more. Okay, let's go. No. Uh, somebody they ask, Alusan Jalo they ask if we the state barrier. Uh, I'm not gonna call on state barrier. Uh, we did discussions then, but the president very clear on this. Any Sierra Union we lost in life during this crisis, we will make sure so we get a, a befitting barrier, a decent barrier, right? So that one day now very important thing because I call, as far as a concern and which is true. Every Sierra Union life matters. Every Sierra Union life matters. They're important. I understand and just don't notify me. Say time they run out. And so let will try for roundup. Um, a very, very important so little roundup. Um, so um, today, now the second edition we don't bring to Una. Then so we don't get 10 minutes left. Uh, now my desire next thing, uh, let people then call in. I don't know why why may technology people then why they never call in today. You know, I sure say some people they really want for talk. Um uh, yes. Oh somebody they say uh, if government they call citizens and terrorists then. Uh, so a good or I say one for keeping this um civil. Um so I want for refer this person to the anti terrorism and money laundering act of twenty twelve. You know, it clearly, not that this government do that one day, 
na the former administration I enacted the anti money laundry and terrorism uh, and terrorism act of 2012 right then clearly define that so that the cyber security and crime law will just make a reference to that anti terrorism law the with the under so i think it's a very important law reading in there you know you read it in conjunction in sync yeah where you read the cyber security and crime law you also read it in conjunction with the anti money laundering law of 2020 2012 we not to president bill and actor so terrorism not in our vocabulary in direction if you check yourself oxford advanced learners english dictionary of current english now the same meaning it gets right so uh, i hope so that bit is clear um okay so don't stop um, you know say one of the ways for combat um youth unemployment now the entertainment industry well, say, so yeah, I mean, we know to that, but like I say, Bobby Amara, one of the first things that we're going to do, we're going to preserve the national peace and stability. Um, governments around the world, not they able to employ all their citizens there, including from the great United States, the UK, Canada, Australia, every place. The private sector, now in the great, the vast majority of the jobs there. So now that one they make, us young people there. We're going to invest in peace, stability, and security. Already, the president may know they make really huge pitches for Salon as a safe place, as a safe haven for investment, for tourism. But when they wake up, they see, say, people they want for virtual government, they don't go bond holes, they don't bond this, they don't bond that. That invests, so they, they go think twice. If you knock out that job, then now several Australian unions go don't miss jobs there. We also realize, say, the entertainment industry, for example, in Nigeria, after agriculture, now only the second largest employer. So we we'll note that one day. So just very recently, under my watch again, we don't we and the entertainment family we we'll meet, we we'll don't do a policy, now they now left to in coming days, we they take that one day forward. Because we believe, say, um, these are talented Sierra Unions, eh? some of the best and brightest guys there. Eh? We need for support them for letting them able to realize their fullest potentials. Yes, that in addition. You talk about employment for young people. Um, I mentioned, say, we got a whole generation of young people there. We miss out on, on, on schooling. We miss out on technical, vocational, education, and training. So under this watch, the president don't launch a skills development fund. We don't make sure, say, every district in the country now get technical, vocational institution. So young people there, early school leavers, or the one who miss out on schooling, Go able to get education for sustainable livelihood. Let us say we we'll look after themselves and their family there. So we are doing all of this. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so somebody say we need for support Emmanuel San Sansi. Emmanuel, thank you very much. Um, this is a law enforcement issue. Um, so we'll be the way the president been assigned officially get assent to the cyber security and crime law. ECHO has been represented. They may commit say they will support with the forensic lab for enhanced the forensic uh, investigation capacity of the Sierra Leone police. So that is work in progress. I'm sure procurement process is ongoing um, because we cannot live. This is a country of law and order. We will not stand. Okay. Mr. Minister, concerning the email CNN asked you, can you say something about that? Well, that was unfortunate. I mean, an unfortunate glitch that one day. Um, we'll go learn lessons then from that uh, for ensure say never again it not go happen again because um, we a very important say law continue for respond um, we have a strong case we believe say CNN did not have all the facts but it is what it is now we will know the facts say we know say six police officers were brutally hacked to death by armed um, insurrectionists on August 10, we're really, really sad. These were people who left their families there. They're not be able to get an opportunity for go back and see their loved ones there, and hug them, and kiss them, and live with their family there again. Yeah. Yeah, so we got a great relationship with artists there. We, with any relationship there, you can improve them. Because we believe, say, we are an empowering government. We will continue for make sure so we empower them. So by way of wrapping up, I want to tell when I say, under my watch, um, His Excellency don't repeal part five of the criminal libel law. Um, we've been criminalized libel. Even though it has been one of the most viciously attacked by unprofessional sections of the media, 
but not to pass away by that. Again, the president don't enact the cyber security and crime law for make sure, say, um, with people then safe in digital space. Already, I don't tell when I say we get over 1.3 million Sierra Leoneans then where they use various digital platforms. I don't tell Una, say, we don't land fiber now five additional districts there for make sure, say, then they get high connectivity, then they can able to talk to their families they're on high waiting. And under the $50 million World Bank project, when the ministry don't just get, now grants, so I don't get for pay for her. Now, because we don't work hard, then see the sincerity and the commitment of His Excellency to digital uptake. Um, for expanding with digital footprints, now make them give that thing. So people then sell in a village. We they do an experiment for them for subsidized um, smartphones so that they say go able to connect to social media. Hmm? Yeah. So my colleague ministers and some of this I need for encourage my colleague ministers and let them do live. So the idea of this program as official government spokesperson, um, we will establish a strong brand in coming weeks. We will begin host with colleagues and I also let them say can engage with them um, on what they do and how they add value and how they fulfill their mandate for improve the quality of life of people there. Yes. Um, Nancy, Nancy, Kabia, uh, I don't, I don't hear your word. Um, and we really, really appreciate the concern. We appreciate, um, we appreciate the valuable thing. Yes, somebody, of course, just the, Internet is too expensive. Let's share something with you. Lamin Denke, um, a good, this is a learning platform. I'll share with you internet prices in other West African countries. Then. I think that this will help you for no say. You know, we'll let for put to country down for all things. Not the politics, I can't talk today. Are they in national service? So I'll share this with you now. Now, Sao told me, now this are the, tell you now the prices there by gigabyte in Africa. Sao told me, um, now $30.97 for gigabyte. Na Malawi, na $25.46 per gigabyte. Na Chad, na $23.33 per gigabyte. Na Namibia, na $22.37 per gigabyte. Na Gambia, na $5.86 per gigabyte. Na Togo, na $4.69 per gigabyte. Na Sierra Leone, na $0.47 per gigabyte. Na Nigeria, na 0.88 per gigabyte. So salon, we come per, per internet, we na one of the cheapest, sir. I mean, this is data I'm giving you, not so not so you say, me say, then say. Huh? So, I mean, it's difficult for, say, bye-bye to fumble then, uh, but I really appreciate this engagement. Um, I want for a show, and I say, as long as we are, long left, and body, well, body day, wherever I am, elected from a village, or Denken village, once I did it um, on Thursday, 8 o'clock, I will come to Una. One of the things that we don't achieve under the new direction administration, we don't expand internet reach. You know, Boku communities then get internet, so we'll continue to engage from wherever we are, whether in or out of the country, whether in a city or in a village. This is not part of the thing that we don't achieve under the new direction administration. Thank you. I want to tell you now. Thank you, thank you, and God bless you. It's been a really great engagement. I do look forward to, to continuing engagement on this platform. In coming weeks, my colleague then said, go engage with her on this same podium so that we will talk about how they take the country go before. The work there, what the new direction don't do in difficult circumstances and waiting at the plan there. And why we thank her, we for make sure the President Bill now wants to encroach on the first ballot.